This time around, taking you to this ball game, it's Coleo de San Juan de Letran Knights. Laban naman dito sa St. Benil, the Blazers facing each other. This is our final schedule of a ball game para dito sa inyong sweet Saturday basketball day. Taking a look at uh, Letran. By the way, Benji Santiago at uh, partner ko ngayon si Randolph Leongson. And Randolph, ito yung now na Letran lost out to Perpetual in their previous game. Yeah, first two games ng uh, Letran dito sa ating Phil Oil Egg Oil. 17th ECJ Preseason Cup have ended in the loss. Yung last game nga nila was a tough defeat against dito sa Perpetual. Whereas they were gravely out-rebounded. Kita nga dito sa, sa stats na pinapakita natin, Benji. But it's a challenging rebuild para sa Letran. And uh, they are using this preseason as a chance for them, especially for Coach Alan Ricard and dun sa mga bagong players nila, to really figure out kung ano yung magiging itsura. I know, I mean, we all know how great of a coach uh, Coach Allen is winning back-to-back -back championships in the juniors. But pagdating sa seniors, Benji, ibang usapan to. At saka interim pa rin naman daw yung title <laughs> niya. Hindi eh. <laughs> pa naman talaga official. Less pressure ba? Less pressure? <laughs> Jimbo Estrada on your screens right now and how he was able to perform yesterday against Perpetual managing this 18 points, uh, 3 rebounds. And then with the five turnovers, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. ni uh, Jim Boy, so he's got to at least make up for those turnovers, lessen it, and be more productive. High usage rate, high scoring, but also it comes with double edge, di ba? Tama. Mas marami yung chances na maka turnover siya. So that's something that itong player na to, itong bata na to na si Jim Boy needs to clean up. From St. Clair, we know how good he is, Tama. but playing for Letran. Taking this mantle as the go-to score for them is a different piece of its own. At saka dapat pamilyar naman siya dito sa venue na to. <laughs> naman. <laughs> Ito naman College of St. Benil Blazers. Well, what can we expect from them, Randolph? It's uh, almost a uh, completely new team. No more Will Gozum, no more uh, Miggy Cortez, but Mark Sanko is still here. Josh Kahuko has been solid during his high school uh, days and uh, has a chance to prove himself. Paul Turco. As you see here, but siguro ang inaabangan dito is yung, yung big man nila eh. But I think absent si Alin Liwag in today's game for Coach Charles Chu. But th this is a team that has high hopes in winning the championship sa NCAA. And this is a chance for them to prove that they are indeed a championship contender. They just kept on trying. Anyway, putahan na natin ang ating uh, venue announcer for the introduction of the starters. Phil Oil Eco Oil Center in San Juan City. As we continue to bring you the Phil Oil Echo Oil 17th ECJ Preseason Cup. Our last game for today is between the Coleo de San Juan de Letran Knights and the College of St. Benil Blazers. And now let's meet the starting lineups first for the Letran Knights. Starting at small forward number 25, Edsel Galloy. Power forward number 5, Rafael Go. Center number nine, Pau Havillonar. Point guard number 24, Jocobo Horcelo. And at shooting guard number 26, Jimboy Estrada. Coaching the Letran Knights is Alan Ricardo. And now the starting five for the Benil Blazers. Starting at small forward number 14, Roger Ondoa. Power forward number 63, Edson Serrano. Center number 13, Paul Turco. Point guard number 10, Nathan Victoria. And at the other guard number 11, Joshua Kaukum. Coaching the Benil Blazers is Charles Chu. The starters in this ball game. And, uh, and uh, we'll see. Uh, Pau Havillonar will also uh, be in the starting lineup here para sa uh, panig ng uh, Letran. And uh, eto, uh, sa, sa panig naman ng uh, Blazers, well, kahukom. At least medyo yun sabi nga natin. Pero yung binabanggit mo kanina, the rebuilding that uh, Letran has to undergo, not just from the players, pati sa pagkahandle mm -hmm. sa kanila. It really is a challenge. We'll see how this turns around. It's a good thing. We have a big old kick of the whole preseason cup. There we go, the ball game. It's the Blazers. 
And just in case, uh, naririnig nyo pa kami dahil <laughs> may ngayong banda. Pero we are basically encouraging yung ating mga participating teams right here. Dalhin ninyo yan. Sabihan natin, iba yung uh, school spirit. Eh, pag uh, masaya ang uh, kapaligiran, yung atmosphere natin in everything, Randall. That's what makes it unique, Benji, di ba? And unlike the pros, Dito, really, the uh -oh. school spirit, ramdam na ramdam mo eh. Uh, and it's not just on the court, but also sa fans, even sa mga banda. And pagdating ng halftime, makakita pa tayo ng pep squads who are performing. So it's really a simulation. Uh, pati Kim, nung makikita nila in a few months pagdating ng UAAP and NCAA season. That's right. Here we go, referee's whistle halts play here. This is the front is trying to go for a basket. Turco. Uh, natawagin ng foul para sa pinild. This line inbound for Letran. They set up their half-court offense. Corner basket there. It turns out to be a three. They need that, Benji. In the, in the past two games, kulang na kulang yung pasahan nitong uh, Letran. It, it's a nice uh, sight to see na yung first possession nila was coming off an assist that led to an Edsel Galloy 3. So Edsel Galloy breaking the ice in this ball game as Spinil Daman turning it over. Alam mo Benji, curious ako eh, because uh -huh. uh, itong starting five ni uh, Coach Charles Chu for Benil is in a way out of the ordinary. Kasi okay. inaasahan niya natin dito si Alin Liwag, even Gab Cometa and Tony Inot who were transfers from San Beda. Eh, yun yung usual, pang, yung, yung pang malakasan nila. But eh, Coach Charles opting to go on a more reserved uh, starting five, maybe to give more experience to the Parait Paul Turco for, for Kahukom. And let's see kung that would pay dividends for them in the early goings of this game. Samantala, sa pag-execute ng offense sa Pinil, it results in a foul as Victoria was actually going for the shot. Chance for Benil to get their uh, first production here in this ball game. So they're finally on the board. Baka nasabik naman kayo. Don't get carried away, ah. Last game natin. Babalik kami sa Monday na. Mm -hmm. Baka naman pumunta kayo rito tomorrow. Back I don't know kung activity rito for tomorrow. <laughs> I think there will be an NCAA volleyball game tomorrow. Ah, yun. Okay. So, pahinga muna tayo. And then, MWF tayo for the coming game. Yes. Victoria taking care of the two free throws. 3-2 lead. Para sa letran. The action happening here in the first period. Shot clock going down. Seven seconds for Letrana. Ipit. Oy, nakabigwit pa ng foul. Bailed out. Tama ka doon, Benji. Bail out foul. Uh, Galoy was already trapped, but that was a nice cut by Abol A better pass, actually, coming from Galoy. And in a way, medyo terrible decision-making para kay Edson Serrano giving this reprieve for uh, Letran. So Letran once again to execute. Nice fake. Oh, yes! Dalawa lumipad. And Pauha Villanueva gets himself on the board with that backing shot. You see how the Benil defense respects the offensive game of Jim Boy Estrada. Dalawa yung napahagat niya. And that opened up an opportunity for Pau Avellunar down low. In the meantime, shot from the outside did not happen here for the Blazers. Like a whole ball. That's a mess. He picks up the loose ball. Two and two situation here. Going straight for the layup. So Joshua Kahuko, man, getting his first two, keeping it close here. Jim Boy, this got there. Quick pass inside, Naso Prahan. They got a bit of foul, let the panic down, let run. 
Hugo pulls up again. He's always had that shot uh, from uh, George Wakawong coming off of uh, Hope Christian High School. Bata ito, actually, ni Coach Gerson Cabiltes ng EAC na ngayon. Ah, but okay. you got to respect the offense of this kid. And siguro na, patikin siya in the past few seasons with Mix Oxon there. But you have to give props to like George Wakawong. He would be a big factor for Binil going forward. Rafael Gaunt scores the man on a three-pointer for Letran. 8-6 lead. The Knights. Blazers basketball for the moment. Di makabawi and press over shooting and air ball. And ball will go back to the Letran Knights. Take a look at the three-point shot. Jang nan hot pot, hot shot three, hot pot ba. Jang nan na. Init ng simula. <laughs> Sarap nga mag-hotpot with eh, kung ganun yung shooting mo. Eight six Letran. Look at this pressure in the backcourt. Muntikan pa. Three-pointer. Yes, straight and through. And Jovel Baliling making his presence felt. 11-6 lead for Letran. They come up with a seal. In transition, let's see. Alley-oop! Instant impact. Ang binibigay nito si Jovel Baliling. First, yung specialty three niya, and then a nice assist to Kobe Monhe. Leading to this big lead for the Letran in the natin, Benji. Yes, indeed. It's up seven right now for the Knights. Outside shot. Malaking factor. Especially for the Gahabulka. John Moel Morales, one of the most uh, impressive young guns dito sa Binil from Chao Quezon, actually, Benji. Oh. Uh, nagpakitang gila sa NBTC tournament and now he's ready to take a bigger role this year as Pasig Blazers. Dasong na naman for Roger Ondoa. Now the Blazers feeling momentum going their way. Time to call a timeout para rito sa Letran. Despite the fact na lamang pa rin dito ang Letran, they're having their own runs at the Panig ng College of St. Benil Blazers. We'll be right back, folks. ABC, sigurado ka dito. Just a kid from Lawag, now the team captain of the Letran Knights, and he has been a champion before, and that is what Pau Havillonar wants to lead his team back to. Entering NCAA 100, actually, he got new tattoos on his arm to commemorate his roots and his basketball journey from Ilocos to NU and to Letran. And as a veteran player, sabi nga niya na he's not just playing to win, but he also plays with heart because of the impact that the game has had in his life, like being able to send himself to school and help his family family out at an early age, especially after his dad passed. And this is what he is trying to also impart to his juniors. Inspired play along with a championship mindset, especially in this next mountain that they're trying to climb in the NCAA season. Benji and Randolph. Yeah, and a comment ko lang I wanna be a billionaire so freaking bad. <laughs> but you know, Benji, that's one thing that you can't really take away from uh, Pau Havillonar. He always wears his heart on his sleeves. He yeah. has always been emotional sometimes gets the better of him as they get emotional with his actions on the court but he knows that he's the veteran now for Letran as the team captain and he has to manage his emotions better to lead Letran back to contention. Well he truly has gone a long way and one thing is for sure he's gonna be providing leadership here to the younger guys of his team. 13-11 it's Letran still with the advantage Five minutes remaining. The exciting first quarter. Blazers. 
see they could try to answer back off the inbound they tried a quick play and they lost an opportunity as the ball goes back to Letran. Pinasok na Benji ng uh, Blazers yung kanilang big guns maybe Gab Cometa, Allen Liwag, Tony Inot, uh, Joe Melancheta and, uh, and Moel Morales. Ito yung ina-expect talaga natin na power uh -huh. five ng CSB. Talaga si Tony Inot, hindi ba binaliktad lang talaga? <laughs> Sinadya na, may kwento ko dyan mamaya because his name, his name is Winston. I uh, know. Played for uh, San Beda Red Cubs but sabi nga namin when he played dito sa NBTC, mas makikilala ka pag may notoriety yung pangalan mo eh. Parang palindrome, di ba? As And we are talking about it. Pasok on na pasok. <laughs> yeah, but I really like the play of this kid. Ito ang ating uh, hustle play, Bostic El General, palaban play brought to you by Bostic El General. All-purpose si Boxy, Tony Inot. As I was saying, Benji, yeah, yeah. more than the notoriety of the palindrome name that we're giving him, okay. Tony Inot, he's uh, a two-way player, uh, very stingy on defense, but most importantly, we've seen the development of his offensive game nung final year niya sa, sa, sa San Beda and then papunta dito sa Benilde. And I won't be surprised if he's gonna be the main guy on offense para dito kay Coach Charles Hsu moving forward. He proved it in doon sa yes. ibang league sinalihan nila. So we have high hopes para dito kay Tony Enot. So let's see. The basket will count. Is that the case here? And I saw the referee even signaling an unsportsmanlike mm -hmm. gesture. So Tony Enot one shot plus ball possession. That's why we're here to find out. But a tight ball game for now, maybe not for long. The extra free throw, the free throw here to be awarded, Tony Enot. And there's still more clarifications needed, Parinba, because we could, before we could ensue or get things going for this ball game here in the first period, Palamang, a 4 and 35. Oh, awesome. So, pag ako ba naging Benji G. Benj? <laughs> <laughs> May impact kaya yun. <laughs> pag nasa loob tayo ng court, hindi ako sure. <laughs> 13 all tayo right now. That will result in a plow. Medyo kitang-kita pa natin yung energy nito mga... The young players that we have here, the last first period, palamang tayo. And it's early in the preseason, Benji. Oh. Kumbaga, fresh legs, uh, and it really for, for a number of these players, it's a chance for them to earn their spot. Sa rotation ng mga coaches nila, proving na kahit gaano katagal yung oras mo sa loob, you will make the most of it. Alas wala nga nababang ko eh. Pero sila, okay lang sila umupo ng ganyan. Relaxed! Mm. 15-13. It's uh, Benilde right now with the upper hand. Here in the first quarter pa lamang. 4 and 20 remaining. Outside shot doesn't go here for Letran. And Benilde. So Joe Melancheta setting up the play. Shot locked down at 10. Para sa Benilde. Where do they go to? Post move here. Nice turnaround shot. Just could not get Alan Liwak. That run. Well, to the Kahabulka, but just down by two. They got an offensive rebound. As they go inside. Problem of my Yangat. Ito na Yangat na tira, pero misfiring that three. And nobody home. Touchdown here. For Cometa. Nice recognition by Gab Cometa. And even Tony Eno to leak out. But I feel like. Letran is falling in love with the three for the past few possessions. Uh -huh. They've been trying so hard to get that three ball going. That would be nice, but it's a little bit of a CSB and it's a little bit of a Blazers. 
And then another three that did not work out for them. They got a defensive rebound. Yon, higher percentage near the basket. Kobe Monhe playing an undersized big role. He has drawn Allen Liwag on defense. Maybe not really his game, but that's what the team needs from him. He has to step up for Salitran. Had nine points in the previous for Kobe Mone. The battle for the loose ball underneath. Nagawa na paraan at napaganda pa for Alan Liwag. I was about to say, Benji, I think the pressure is on Alan Liwag to perform. He came from EAC, transferred to CSB, uh -huh. had an excellent season. Pero mabigat kasi dito. Papalitan mo, will go zoom lang eh. Diba? Former NCAA MVP and with expectations on high from CSB, you really have to perform every time you're on the court. Earlier, a basket para kay Jobel Maliling. We got a two-point game. Vinil has it. They have the lead. Jobel firing long distance. Can't get it to go down. And here comes the other way. Young Letran tying, trying to tie or maybe take the lead. 99 seconds before we end the first period of action. In love, na in love pa rin sila sa three-point shooting. But you know, Benji, I will take it if you're Jovel Baliling. That's, uh -huh. that's his specialty. That's his game from the from the juniors team with the Squires. He has always been a dead shot shooter. So you can take that if you're Coach Alan Ricardo. Naku! Yung Pinoy step na yun. Almost there, but not quite for Kobe Mone. And Jovel Acheta bringing it down. Turnaround shot may be a difficult thing to execute. Who ends up in the basketball here? Netran. Nice movement. Ito yung game na gusto ni uh, Coach Al Ricardo. Everyone just hustling on the court, running down the break. Ganyan yung nagpanalo sa kanila ng dalawang champions sa juniors. And that's also the system that he wants to see pagdating dito sa, sa senior level. Trying to count, Charles Ibaano has first two points earlier for Letran. Subok naman. Ito pa ng Blazers. Letran. With a go-ahead basket, they have to execute pretty well. Coach Alan Ricardo giving them a signal. Now they go for the attack here, the fall away, nope, will be more near. They got it back, there's still time, six seconds remaining. It's down to four, the three, it's an air ball. And we will end up with the first ten minutes of play here, all tied up. And somehow, shooting it, 46% for the run, 50% the month. For the College of St. Benil, the time ball game and taking a look at the quarter highlights, Smart Powered Up plays brought to you by Smart Power All 99. Get eight gigabytes of all access data, only TikTok and only all net call and texts for seven days. Load now. More to come when we come back. More action between these two teams all tied up after the first 10 minutes of play. Get 8 gigabytes of all access power. To do it all. Plus only TikTok to scroll and share non-stop. Power, work, life and more. With Smart Power All. All access data now up to 90 days. Load now. ABC, sigurado ka dito. And now time to play the second quarter of action with the score tied up at 19 here. Jimbo Estrada has yet to make an impact here in the first half. Well, first quarter pa lang naman. Yung Lumipas. And dito pa rin tayo sa NCAA bracket. And I think Field Oil, Echo Oil, 17 ECJ Preseason Cup. Benji Santiago, Randolph Leonson, and O 
we'll see with Letran shot lock down in 10 for them. Ano yung pa yung mga inaabangan din ng mga tao ko? Ano yun yung narinadig nila eh? So sino na ba tayo? May head coach na ba? Ang Letran officially? Tama ba yung narinadig namin? Na the thriller daw? Uh, right now, the interim tag is with Coach Alan Ricardo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There are murmurs with Willie Miller taking over the Squires program. May narinig pa nga ako, Benji, eh. Aldin uh -huh. Ayo daw eh. But, uh, really? <laughs> yeah, I, I, I've heard a lot of rumors, but until any announcement is made, Coach Alan Ricardo will be the man to all the shots for this uh, Knights team who are motivated to bounce back after that disastrous NCAA season 99. 21-19 for Letran. Mata dagdagan pa! Oh, 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 flexing his muscle. Told you I want to be a billionaire. So freaking bad. <laughs> and he's showing how you're supposed to react. Ang ating palaban play of the game brought to you by Bostic El General. All purpose epoxy. That was a nice fast break. <laughs> Nice finish by Pau Havillionar, but also a good pass from Jim Boy Estrada. Again, you see how teams are now acknowledging uh -huh. kung gaano threat si Jim Boy. And he has to acknowledge also na may ganyang defense ang ibibigay sa'yo. You have to find the open man sa mga kapi mo. Ako rin siguro eh. Kanina kasi tinatanong ko, not the production, you know, for Jim Boy Estrada, but the way he's getting everyone involved. Pinapapogi nga eh, mga mm. kampi, ganun eh, di ba? Mm. He has to be a good one on uh, the, the offensive end. Na hindi lang ikaw yung umi-score. Dapat you have to know to share the ball, to make everyone happy, and also to lead your team to victory. Ito naman si Alan Liwag, just trying to make sure and asking the referee if that was given a continuation. How did it turn out? A four-point swing para rito sa College of St. Benil. That was a nice put back by Antonio Sebi, a transferee from uh, UP, initially committed with the Fighting Maroons, but felt that he did not get enough chances sa Diliman. Oh, Susubukan okay. natin sa Taft. 24-23. Lamang pa rin itong panig ng Letran. Rafael Go. So we turn to the floor here. For Letran. Corner three. No offensive rebound. But that, Alan Liwag. CSB just Lording it on the rebounding, second consecutive offensive board for them, and that has allowed them to get the, sli the slim advantage. But if things turn out na continue na ganyan, I won't be surprised if they get the victory. Buti nga, naka-recover ka eh. Nung una sabi mo, wala, wala si Alan Liwag. Late lang pala. <laughs> Late lang. Baka nag-CR nung uh, nag-play oh, game tayo. Yeah. <laughs> 25-24, the lead change here in favoring and uh, College of St. Benil Blazers. Stigla Gatoras is trying to handle the situation with his playmaking. Second chance, nothing there. Third chance, I open him, but there's a foul on the line. Again, the rebounding just favoring itong Blazers, and that has allowed them to get extra chances, extra possessions, and more importantly, extra points. Alan Liwag, he's already got six points. And I think they're going to call the foul on Edsel Galoy. Yeah, indeed. Alan Liwag at the line, shooting two free throws. Ito ang ating uh, free throws being brought to us all by Bostic El General All-Purpose Epoxy and ABC Tile Adhesive. Alan Liwag. Still a close ball game that we have around here. Make it the first. And again, reminding you, mahala uh, kayo bukas muna sa Monday. <laughs> Monday na tayo kita kids. Yeah. Baka sobra excited nila manood eh. Kuya nga eh, di ba? Pwede naman, no? Sila din sa pillow. Kasi lang baka volleyball yung mapanood nyo, hindi basketball. <laughs> Ibang bola na. Jimboy has it. Stops, pops, the back shot. 
Parame basket interference as they were trying to grab that rebound. Jim Boy getting it back. It ends up with Alan Lewa. And then he attacks. He turns. Unable to score. They got another scoring opportunity. Still nothing. What action right there in that sequence for the Blazers, Santanaman, the Knights. Jim Boy Estrada. Nainip na yata si Jim Boy. Kanina pa siya pasa ng pasa eh. Sabi ni score niya. Ako naman. Pasubok naman. But yeah, you expect that from Jim Boy. He can make plays for his teammates, but he will always get his licks when it comes to shooting that basketball. In the meantime, a foul is called on Letran. As Torres was trying to get close to the basket. He is actually going for a shot when he got fouled, and here he is shooting two free throws for the Blazers. This is problematic for Letran Benji. Uh -huh. Seven minutes in, they are in the penalty now. They will have to be conservative when it comes to playing defense. And mahirap yan eh, kasi ganyan yung gustong depensa ni uh, Coach Allen eh. Very physical, very high energy. So that's something that they have to watch out for because the game will slow down and mas masaysayla, they will give easy free throws para sa si St. Benil. Two point lead, the Benil. Kind of eager right there. Galas, the Blazers to come up with a foul. Uh, totally unnecessary. Wala pa mong iyari sa play that time ng Letran. As he apologized. Pero sabi nga natin, dito mo na i-correct yung mga pagkakamali. Mas mabuting As, yes. dito ka na magkamali kaysa sa season. Eh. Kasi mabubulyawan ka talaga. Another two tries to get a basket for the Blazers. Unable. And this time around, a foul is going to be called. Pangalawa, Hyrule Galas. Siya na naman. Yes. <laughs> Chance for Letran. Tie or take the lead? Boy. Hesitation right there. Rafael go. Nope. Wow. Pati ako, nalito. Hindi ko alam kung sino titira at saka saan pupunta yung bola eh. Acrobatic yung pasa ni Galas, but it will find its way to Alin Liwag for that basketball. Ayun nga lang, Jimboy Estrada with a quick reply at the other end. He's keeping it close, 30-28. Two-point lead lamang ito para sa Blazers. Ang College of St. Benilde. Pick up a foul penalty. Ito yung binabanggit mo. Ito mo na yung assist of the game brought to you by Smart Live More Today. And Alan Liwag, right place. Well, siya gagawa ng paraan that time around. Nabigyan siya ng magandang pasa for a big guy near the basket. Pag libre na si Alan Liwag sa ilalim, ilista mo na yun. But going back to this play, Again, and dami rin kasing sundot na ginagawa nitong Letran. That's why na nababantayan na eh. Nakikita rin ng referees natin eh. Uh, and, and that's something that Letran has to really watch out for. Bawasan nila yun because unti-unti nakakalayo itong CSB through free throws. The lead is four. Unable to even make an attempt turning it over. Letran, Leon Torres with a crossover move. He fires the train short. And here comes Letran. Four point deficit. High person just. Oh, huli ka. That was a nice pass from Borsello, pero wala eh. Nag fake pa si Goy, kaya nabasang pasa ni Alin Liwag eh. Pero nakabawi naman, Jim Boy Estrada. Right now, concentrating more on his offense. Point production. Blazers. Up by two, still up by two. Several tries to make a basket. And this time, easy peasy here. But ah. Saletra to tie it all up. That was a great effort for Pawa Millionaire to really 
go down and get that basket para sa letran. They need more of that effort. He's been a defensive linchpin for them for so long. He has to fine-tune his offense better if he wants to be a better leader para this tonight. 32 all. Ian Torres. Nope. Put back nothing there. Letran with a tie ball game. Four and a half to play here in the second period. See how this works out. Bolsello. As they go inside, Pradella with a miss. Oh, Liwak. Out of control. Lang eh. <laughs> yeah, but din eh. That's not his game. Yeah. I mean, yeah, yeah. Siya yung, uh, ng bola. But if you're asking Alin Liwak to put the ball down, that's too much. Yeah. Ooh. <laughs> Extra pass. <laughs> Very unselfish. It was Ian Torres on that play, Benji. Now it's the Blazers with the upper hand. They got a rebound. There's going to be a foul in the backcourt. It's going to be a platoon substitution right now. Sana, you see Coach Island Ricardo with that kind of situation. Ito yung dunk ko. Smart Power Dunk brought to you by Smart Prepaid eSIM. Now available for digital delivery through the Smart Online Store for only 99 pesos. Pwede na rin. Si Pao. Hapel yun. Parang nilayam eh, pero inabot naman yung ring. So that counts as a dunk. More importantly, that's two points for Letran. Alan Liwag back at the line. He's been very, very active. Really a go-to guy. Laki rin naman ito eh. He's been trying and just keeping it close. He's got 12 points. Imagine that. I told you, Benji, there are high hopes for Alan Liwag. But yeah, I think... Si Megan may report. Mm -hmm. Yes, Benji, CSB captain Mark Sanko actually says that this preseason tournament is their simulation for the upcoming season. And with this being the first time they're able to play together as a team in competition, isinasa puso talaga nila ito. And as a leader, he is bringing out the urgency in his teammates na hindi isipin na malayo pang NCAA. Instead, staying ready dahil mabilis lang ang NCAA season. And when it comes, they have to be on point. At the same time, he is trying to engage the whole team, making sure everyone one stays proactive and giving everyone a chance to lead to in pursuit of a good finish for the NCAA season. Benji and Randall. Thank you. Always ready. Para ka on call eh. Ganun lang naman yan. Malayo pa yung servisyo pero dapat ready ka every time. Mas magandang dito mo nagawin yung adjustment mo kaysa mag-adjust ka pagdating ng season. And that's a good attitude coming from Mark Sanko being one of the veterans, one of those na nakaranas ng finals ng CSB two seasons ago. And if they want to really achieve that glory, they have to show that they are indeed championship caliber sa preseason pa lang. It's the College of St. Benio. They say lead by 337-34. We got a timeout here in the second quarter. Enjoy only 5G data, only calls and texts, and only Netflix mobile on us. All with Smart Postpaid's powerful SIM-only plans starting at 999. Get it on eSIM online, only with Smart Postpaid. ABC, sigurado ka dito. Three minutes and three seconds remaining here in the first half. Budget drop. Ah, moment. Tala ng TNT. Mag-load na sa inyong suking tindahan. At unti-unti na silang dumadami ang tropa na yan, ah. Why not? They're enjoying every bit of the action here. Dito sa Bill Oil, Echo Oil Center in San Juan. Sabi ko nga, you're given seconds of uh, being famous. <laughs> Get ready for your Kodak moment, pa. Oh, di ba? Sabi ni mga bata, ano yung Kodak? 
<laughs> Nagpakita yata ako ng konting edad. Nadulas. 37-34. Toby Bonny also doing his thing at offense here. He's being very aggressive. That was a good defense from Mark Sanko. Telegraphing na yung gustong punta ni Montesilio was Mone, but the, the other players ng Letran should be more wary kung sino yung dapat punta ng bola. If the first option's not there, you have to show up para ikaw yung punta ng bola. Outside shot, this is going to be big. Can't hit it. Bit of managing to stick him up in the basketball. And Dima Ano, not exactly an easy shot to make as he really went up. 37 36. Ayo Maghiwalay Randolph. <laughs> Despite uh, Letran being in the penalty, they keep on uh, chipping away this lead, even though. Uh, Bla the Blazers get these offensive chances. Kumaga, walang gusong lumayo eh. Walang gusong kumurap. Ito naman si Mark Sanko. At ito, di maano again. Very active. Nakikipagsagutan rito. Benil's chance. It's off. Joe Melancheta. Chance for Letran with two minutes remaining. Ooh. Easy basket. Kobe Monhe. Nice recognition there by Monhena. He has the first step over Sanko on that fast break play. Na unahan niya. That's why he got that separation for that two points. Nagulat lang ako. Kobe Monhe for Letran. Allen Bryant liwa naman dito para sa Benil. So at least hindi pinag-iusapan ng LeBron at saka Michael Jordan dyan. Oh. Kitang-kita mo yung influence eh. Malamang Laker fans yung magulang na itong dalawang to. No doubt. No doubt. So right now, free throws naman dito para sa kay Cometa. As he makes the first one. The sense of urgency, you can feel it for both teams mm -hmm. here in the first half, Randolph, no? Mm, no one wants to uh, give an inch, but really, I, I feel like I feel like uh, Letran is getting the better of it, despite them being on the penalty. It's a seven-minute mark pa rin natin. They are managing and they're keeping uh, themselves close against the Blazers. And it, somehow, yung opensa rin naman ng CSB is hindi na makatakbo eh. We, we know, we see open plays like this for them. Oh, what a play right there, Joe Melancheta with a perfect setup. The duck, they got the ball back. This son going big time. Just could not cash in. Those are plays that can really wake them up. Na makuha nila yung group nila on offense, Benji. In the meantime, kind of wild right there. Been a good recovery para sa Letran. They're down by just three. This is good. Tie it up. Nope. They got the defensive rebound, and they're just going to be turning it over, though. In the meantime, tingnan muli natin itong dunk, smart power dunk brought to you by Smart Prepaid eSIM. The setup here gets it to go down, available for digital delivery through the smart online store for only 99 pesos. Yun dunk talaga. Hindi to lang doon kayo, Vinyonar Garina. We just love it. Again, I think I think this is the ninth team foul for uh, Letran in the second uh -huh. quarter. Again, just this early uh, penalty situation biting them in the back and allowing Letra uh, Benil to not just pile points from the free throw line but also give. Those scores the confidence na makuha nila yung rhythm and groove nila. Meanwhile, Gap Cometa has been steady from the line and making it a five-point lead for them. Cometa with seven points for the Blazers. Jim Boy sent back into the ball game. And Baliling, na wala na eh. Chauvel Baliling has to be lifted. 
Oh, second serving, Alan Liwag. That's burning the hoops. That's just rewarding the big man for their efforts. 13 in the ball game for Alan Liwag. Look at this. You go to the big guy. Ah, pero ito muna yung earlier play. Yeah, talaga mi nandun si Alan Liwag eh. Hindi Good niya, trail job. Hindi niya sinukuan yung play even though yung kakampi niya is nauna na. Kailangan lang may insurance eh. Diba? Security lang. And he was rewarded with two points on that play. Seven point advantage para sa Benil. Negating any kind of good offense for Letran. And penalty. Jimbo Estrada picks up a foul. Free throw shooting time para rito sa Blazers. It's mga magha pa. Yung lamang nitong uh, Benil papunta sa halftime. Really, I think a key point na pag uusapan sa halftime ni Coach Allen, he's not gonna be happy with how things are going para sa kanila when it comes to the foul game. Free throws brought to you by Bostic El General All-Purpose Epoxy and ABC Tile Adhesive. Taking a look at Jomel Ancheta. Former CU Scorpio. That's right. Uh, nagpakitang gilas doon and uh, napansin ng uh, team ni, Co ni Coach Charles Chu. Now he has a chance to prove that he has the wherewithal to play with the big boys ng NCAA. This is CSB. Two for two of those free throws for Jomel Lancheta. He's got four points in the ball game. He's managed to uh, dish out three assists. As they take this 49-40 lead, Letran trying to come up in the basket, but time will run out here in the second period. Fast pace, and they're really running and gunning, especially Pararito. So College of St. Benil Blazers 49-40 as we end the first half. Zerg, magic data saves you any time you need it. And it doesn't expire? That's right. Cool. Oh, dead spot. <sighs> if only you could switch in an instant. Oh, wait. What? eSIM is that easy? For fur. For real kasi. Backed up by nationwide coverage. So, yeah. Nobody knows what Gen Z's want, but we can keep up with real connection and real fast data. Live for real with Smart 5G plus nationwide LTE, Power All, Magic Data, and eSIM. You guys pretty much know what we need. Live more today. When is our app not just an app? When it gives you more with every tap. It puts power in your hands and makes you feel special along the way. It's your account manager. Bills Viewer and Payment Partner. Balance Checker. Promo Loader. Points Collector. And Rewards Giver of the stuff you love. When is our app not just an app? When it's the Smart App. Download it now. And now we'll have our Haynes one-on-one -on -one king of the hard court. Let's introduce our players first from Culeo de San Juan de Letran, Stephen Garupil, taking on Adamson's Austin Ronzon. First shot by Garupil is good from the outside. Two-point field goal. Ronzon with a nifty move. Three-nothing. 3-0 para dito ay Stephen Garupil. Multiple pump fakes, takes the shot and gets it to go. 4 nothing. Garupil falls down on the floor. Five seconds on their shot lock. Finally, Ronzon gets first crack at it. Mid-range jumper is too strong. Garupil with the leather. Sizing up Ronzon. Step back, three-point shot. Run zone on the left side. Pulls up. Shadow Malasulet. Garubil. Currently leading with two minutes remaining. Four seconds on the shot clock. 
Garubin. Under the rest, puts it up. Ronzon with a chance to trim the gap. Tries to attack. It's a miss. Stephen Garupil with the lead. Drives left. And ball will stay on the side of Letran Stephen Garupil. 4 nothing is our score. One minute and 20 seconds to go. Garupil attacks. Good defense by Ronzon. Now he gets the ball. Can he get on the board? Takes that two-point field goal, and it's a miss. Stephen Garupil still with the lead, 4 nothing, Under a minute to go. Decides to take that two-point shot. Front zone still has enough time. Fires from two-point range. No good. Garupil. Front zone trying to defend him here. Garupil with three seconds. Drives left using his left hand and draws a foul. So that's going to be one shot from that free throw line for Stephen Garupil. And gets the friendly bounce. Five nothing. Garupil will retain possession here. Garupil sizing up on zone. Tough shot. And Ron Zone still has a chance to get on the board here. Austin takes that two point field goal and finally knocks it down. Bola pa rin ni Austin. Pupukululet. Oh, that's two straight three point field goals. But he will run out of time. That's, that's it for our one on one. Haynes, one on one, king of the hard court. And our winner is Stephen Garupel from the Coleo de San Juan de Letra Knights. Winning this one 5 to 4. Magaan haluin, kaya magaan idikit at masilyahin ang Woodworks. Yan ang Bostic El General All Purpose Epoxy. Kasama mo sa lahat ng laban. Gawa ng Bostic. ABC, sigurado ka dito. Ang po si Babes, di ko daw siya sinustories. Sa TNT, surf saya 30, mapapost mo siya sa FB, IG, at kahit TikTok pa. Get 8 gigabytes of all access power. To do it all. Plus only TikTok to scroll and share non-stop. Power, work, life and more with Smart Power All. All access data now up to 90 days. Load now. Enjoy only 5G data, only calls and texts, and only Netflix mobile on us. All with Smart Postpaid's powerful SIM only plan starting at 999. Get it on eSIM online. Only with Smart Postpaid. Go beyond with Smart, the country's fastest and best mobile network. With unlimited 5G data for 12 months. Unlimited text and calls for both mobile and landline. And unlimited Netflix mobile on us. All with Smart Postpaid's powerful SIM-only plan starting at 999. Get it on eSIM online, anytime, anywhere. Switch now and keep your number. Get the power to go beyond, only with Smart Postpaid. 
Generation Z. Authentic. Real. They thrive in the mundane. But let's be real. Nobody knows what they want. Only they truly understand. For real? Yeah, but that's okay. We get what you need. Uh, guys, where are we going now? Anywhere! Mountain, beach, middle of nowhere! Why? Because we can! Well, let me help out. Smart 5G. Best in 5G coverage experience and best in 5G availability. Oh, wow, those are a lot of apps. That's fine. When you got power off, you could do it all. Multiple apps? <laughs> All right, 49-40, and uh, College of St. Benil Blazers really taking care and exploiting the situation that uh, Letran was in foul trouble very early in the second period. Uh, I think Smart Power Up Plays being brought to you by Smart Power All 99. Get 8 gigabytes of all access data, only TikTok, and only all net call and texts for seven days. Slow now. Very interesting ball game here. The meeting of these two teams. Uh, Bikuna, Kobe for Litran, Bryant for <laughs> Benilde. We're talking about Alan Liwa, but these are some of the fantastic plays. Look at Jome Lancheta. Pwede na siya. Nakapag-serve na siya ng kanyang residency coming from CEU Scorpions. Tsaga lang ng konti. And taking a look at these halftime starts uh, being brought to us by El General All Purpose Epoxy. Go, Randolph! Yeah, uh, very glaring dito yung uh, three point field goals. We talked about Letran falling in love with the three points, but yung hindi natin ang markahan dito. Obviously, the turnovers late in the second quarter was uh -huh. a big problem para sa Letran. Ang hindi natin napakita dito was the free throw situation, Benji. 20 free throws for uh, St. Benil taking. Full advantage of uh, Letran being in penalty. Seven minutes pa lang ng second quarter. Meanwhile, Letran, isang free throw pa lang sa buong Kaya, laro. Kaya, uh, that really makes a lot of difference. But of course, the hustle play, they're feeling the energy as they can try to continue with their momentum. To keep it going. Let's see if they can pick up from where they left off as we are just about to start with the second half. And taking a look at the, uh, of course, leading scorers not and leading numbers. Uh, hindi na ba? Naipapa. Ayan! Oh, sabi sa inyo, eh, di ba? <laughs> so, Alan Bryant, Liwag, leading all scorers with 15. Sa kabilang banda, Letran, Kobe Monhe. Okay, do your take on that one. Yeah, all, Eight points. Yeah, all, obviously, Liwag will take the lead when it comes to scoring. Uh -huh. Pero tahimik pa yung mga inaasahan natin. Gab Cometa only has eight. Tony Inot only has four. Meanwhile, itong Letran... Glaring na si Jim Boy Estrada only has six, focusing more on playmaking in that first half. But we expect his game to get going and get his offense going in the second half. I'm pretty sure there's going to be a lot of adjustment, especially on the part of Letran. Especially to the foul nila. <laughs> That's going to be a problem if it's going to be the same case because kahit nakalapit sila. That in a way has made them made their defense problematic, Benji. That allowed CSP to pull away late in, the, in that first half. A mess on the corner shot for Letran. Blazers. Alan Perret. Uh -huh. Over the top. And imagine in the second quarter, actually Benilde outscoring Letran 30 to 21. Mm -hmm. That's a big scoring out, but 30 points than Benilde in the second period. Really, most of that coming through that late four minute stretch, Benji, uh -huh. when their defense really tightened and allowed them to rule the open court and get those offensive rebounds. As I said, dominant ang, ang Benilde pagdating sa rebounding. And that's. That's a big reason why Alan Liwag is still on the court for them. He's a difference maker for the Blazers. It's a foul called on Letran. Isebio will be shooting free throws. He's being given a chance to get himself on the board here. Well, actually, he already has four points. And make that five. Makes Oxon, former uh, Benil Blazers, really uh, 
just watching, supporting his alma mater, and has the great season in Korea. So, uh, uh, yeah. his season is one of our exports who we're proud of na representing our flag internationally. Papa, binawasan yung buhok niya, likod sa Korea, <laughs> ganyan eh. No? Kaya di ko basta nakilala eh. Nanibago. <laughs> Double digit leads. Alamang na ngayon ang uh, Benilda. College of St. Benil taking care of business. The rest of the guys here para sa Letran asking for a review. What happened there? Binigay na lang. Binigay na. Okay na. <laughs> umamin, umamin yung referee. Yeah. Yeah. But coaches can challenge, ha? Uh, in, oh, in the man. field oil. One challenge per game, regardless if it's successful or not, you one get one chance. Lang, yeah. Experimental stage pa yung mga challenge, challenge natin sa Philippine basketball. Mapa basketball or volleyball, we're, we're exploring it. But also, both, both ends kasi, because... We always want to get calls, right, Benji? Uh -huh. But it also slows the game down. And yun yung nirasolba natin. Ayaw natin bumagal yung laro. Ayaw natin umabot ng dalawang oras yung basketball games natin. Eh. They're also making the same complaints even in the NBA. <laughs> <laughs> Tao lang, nagkakamali. Samantala, Jim Boy, that's it fly! That's it three! His first make! from that area. We expect more from that, from Jim Boy may be shooting from the outside or slashing inside. He will be a big reason if Letran wants to puncture and trip the lead down. Uh, they're making some headway plays here para sa Letran. Taking a look at this three points. Jangnan hot pot, hot shot three. Hot pot ba? Jangnan na. Konti na lang, makakanta ko na nga talaga yun. Really, more than that three-pointer from Jim Boy. That solid screen by Pao Havillonaris really helped him open up to the shot. Na yon. Here he is again. He heard the whistle, banks it in. Quick awareness of what's happening on the court for Jim Boy Estrada. Now he's making things happen para sa Letran on the offensive. And, and again, it's Pao Havillonaris feigning that, faking and allowing Liwag to in a way, bump contact. Oh, okay. Now, take advantage lang itong si Jim Boy. Now, a three-point play para sa Letran. And just a three-point lead na lang ito para sa Benil. 51-48, 7-20. Here in the third. So, presumably, talaga, they talked about the adjustment that they need to do. At ito namang Benil, unti-untik na i-love sa three-point shots. Mm -hmm. Oh, oh, easy now. Okay. Emotions running high, Benji. I know. And it's just the preseason, huh? Paano pa pagdating ng NCAA proper? Alam ko, minsan kasi yung mga coaches, eh, talagang yun din ang uh, pep talk nila sa mga players nila. Eh. Don't just let this, don't consider this as just a preseason. Mm -hmm. Imagine nyo na nag-uumpisa na talaga tayo. And going back dun sa report ni Megan earlier, uh -oh. yun yung sinasabi ni uh, team captain ng Benil, si Mark, si Mark, Mark Sanko, Sanko na, uh -oh. hindi, hindi lang preseason to eh. Respect the game and Tama. we see how driven, how serious these players are taking every possession. Like they say, no? as we still have this lull and trying to figure out what really happened here. Eh, gusto naman talaga ng mga players eh. Ayaw nga nila mag-insayo. Gusto nila maglaro yeah, na ng maglaro. Laro lang ng laro Mas eh. Mas mahirap yung insayo. Mas mm. mahaba. Mm. <laughs> Tatlong oras ka ba naman yung practice eh. <laughs> <laughs> Minsan two a day pa yan. They'd rather go and play the game. Total, dun di naman sila patunta eh. And really, our iron sharpens iron. Yes. Ito yung chance ni Luna to size up the competition that you may win or you may lose, but the next time, you're gonna get the better of your opponent. So many whistles being blown <laughs> here in this third quarter. Pau Havillonar has been called for the offensive foul. Boom! ng balikat ni Pau. May carry over pa from the last play. 
officials, our referees have got to take a closer look at this ball game here. It's getting physical as long as it's not dirty. Oh. That was a bad pass from Mondoa. Tatlo sila doon. He could have just held the basketball. They had possession now. They turn the ball over and give Letran a chance to close it or possibly tie this game at 51. Great effort right there. Three-point game. Mapua down for the moment. Let's see. 70 shoot. Is he aware? Oh, may foul. Alin Liwag. Anatamaan or nakatama. Parang tinatarget ng letran si Alin Liwag, no? Oo. <laughs> in, in just the third quarter, he has picked up all three of his fouls. And now, Coach uh, Charles will check him out. Pahinga nga muna, Paul Turgo, muna papasok para kay Alin Liwag. But yeah, that's gonna be a problem for, for them if the, the Letran defense is trying to exploit Alin Liwag and getting him to pick up those fouls. In the meantime, second chance points here. One point game na Mantaya, CSB, the Blazers. Nope, can't add up to this one point lead and now the chance para sa Letran naman. CSB so we'll talaga yung nai in love sa three point in the, se in the second oh, half. Oh Offensive foul is called here. Uh, Letran. Si Pau Havil, you know, that's a second offensive foul here in this ball game. <laughs> As we talked back in the first half, Pau has to acknowledge that. Keep his emotions in check. Uh -huh. He's the leader of this team. And I know he's trying to set a good example by playing physical because ganyan yung hinahanap ni Coach Allen. But if you pick up continuous fouls, you will be rendered useless if you're on the bench. Runner won't go. Got up with a rebound. Letran, another opportunity for them to take the lead. Ooh. Oh! Di lang nagkaintindihan. Case makes ways, as they say. Talaga, they'd still go in for it, those three-point shots <laughs> for the Blazers. Ayana, penalty na. And Benil, penalty rin actually, a little one. Yeah, both teams. We're seeing the effects of the early physical affair between uh, them. It has piled on, so uh, we're in for a long third quarter, Benji. Let's see. A couple of players. Jamel Ancheta will return here. Para sa Benil Blazers. Pau Havillonar will be shooting two free throws. And free throws being brought to us by Bostic El General. All purpose epoxy and ABC tile adhesive. Pau Havillonar. Making the first free throw, and he's got eight points so far in the ball game to go along with his three rebounds. Again, the challenge for Pau Havillonar, more than being the defensive linchpin, is to really become a better offensive player. Ang comparison nga da, na ang ceiling na hinahanap natin sa kanya is to be like Luis Angalang during his final mm. uh, season sa NCAA. So if he can become like that, big things are up for Pau. All right, let's hear it from Megan this time. Benji, you were talking about Jimboy Estrada a while ago, who was steady for Letran in the past two games, and he shares that one of the challenges being countered by the team is the short amount of time they've been able to train together as a complete lineup. So, mahirap man ang gelling, but the players also put in the work outside the team, and some even in the pro leagues, and this is an experience they don't want to go to waste. And with this brand new season, they're hoping that this hustle they can put in the spotlight, and they are hoping that it starts in this particular game. Benji and Rando. Sometimes Sibar is eliminated that they could be looking at their future, immediate future, or they just want to improve on where they are right now. But you know, Benji, must, the, the, the thing that we're hearing just from Netra, not just from uh -huh. me, but from 
the other coaches when we talk to them, they always say, malayo pa eh. But Tama you need rin. this grind, this everyday grind, maybe game per game, possession by possession, to really improve. Na alam natin na yung binubuo natin, pag nagbunga pagdating ng season, mas marami yung makakapansin sa atin, mas malaki yung chance natin makaabot pagdating ng pros. In the meantime, tie ball game right here. Eletran trying to get the go-ahead basket. And it's not going to happen because the turnover has just been committed by Letran. Medyo na-excite si Rafael Godon. He thought about uh, shooting that uh, baseline jumper. Should have taken that baseline jumper, pero natakam siya uh, against uh, a smaller defender but was caught traveling. And another turnover para si Letran. 53 all. Blazers, quickly. Oh, no! <laughs> How about that? Do it all. Hi, basically, it was a Jim Boy Estrada. And right now, let's take a look at how Benil might be able to break the deadlock. Can they do it? Shot clock is down to five. The floater didn't happen. Here comes Letran. Silanamana Susubo. In transition. Hayao bitin den. Benil Daman right now. Tigil muna Chomel. Ayaw. Jomel should have taken that. I know. But yeah, the, the problem really when you're the new one in the team, you don't want to be too selfish, Benji. You you want to really share the basketball. Na kahit tira mo na. Sige, better shot siguro. Ipasa ko sa kampigo. But that's your game. If you're Jomel Ancheta, you have to take those shots. And this is one ball game that's not exactly pretty to look at when it comes to three-point shooting. Five made three <laughs> points lang ito. One para rito sa Binil. Four for Letran. Taking a look at that shot block. Defensive play in the game. Being brought to us all by Bostic El General. All-purpose epoxy. Wow, Jimboy Estrada has done almost everything. And yet, we are tied in this ball game. Second serving. Ayo paring mahulog. Letran's turn naman. In transition. The extra pass. Napakialaman. <laughs> you have to love the effort of Alan Liwag going down for that defensive defensive stop. But they still can buy the basket. Here's another attack. Subok lang. How about a corner? Long distance. Wala no! pa rin. Tries again. Yon. You know, how many tries do you really have to make <laughs> just to get a basket? It's been tough. Kobe Monhe. And uh, of course, on the other side, see Tony Enot. The gym boy is everywhere. <laughs> you know, Benji, the thing with gym boy is he understands uh -huh. how to be the go to guy, the top guy for a team like he has done this job for St. Clair but of course when you're playing for Letra this is a different animal these are players who are more experienced against you medyo mamamalahibo kasi siguro ng konti but uh -huh. when the offense is there when the ball is on your hands that's a given pagdating kay Jimboy and, and that's a good look na pati depensa ginagawa niya na paraan itong, itong uh, bago niya simula sa Knights Kobe Mone, 10 points in the ball game over at the other side. A quick reply to man for the College of St. Benil. Blazers to score on that reverse. Bagong pasok, instant impact. Ito si uh, Joshua Kaukom. We talked about him yes. earlier in this game. And should be really a good asset para sa Benil going forward. He's got six points so far, adding... Trying to add. They got Whoa. the offensive rebound. Wow, that's a no no. Joe Melancheta approaching the ball. Nobody boxing him out. And Benil is up by four. Not for long. Nikpapakit ang gilas yung mga transferis. First Jim Joe Boy. Melancheta and then Jim Boy Estrada. Really showing why these two teams, Letan and Benil, made. Headways to get their services. Slowly but surely picking up on his numbers. Jim Boy Strada already has 15. Let's see Benil work this out. Nope, nothing happening there. 
second chance again. Paris Alain to take over the lead here. Look at this, 99 seconds before we end the third quarter. In a close ball game like this, a little hesitation, almost losing it. Did they lose it? No, they recovered. Ball fake, Nagawa, ba -da -ba -da. ball fake and everything. First points of the game, para kay Deo Wow. Not really, this game is more of a spot up shooter, but that's one way to get your offense going. Just to see that ball go through the net. At saka sa ganito, ka-close the ball game. Any contribution, very much welcome. Lalo pa yung mga tres eh, yes. napaka-alat. Ito na naman, subok na naman. Way off! Really? Hindi handa sa pasa si Gobi Mon eh. Ayun nga na, may agaw. And a great defensive job right there. Nagawa ng paraan, of course, Joshua Ahuko. That's his eighth point in the ball game. Benil is up by one. Letran. Chimboy with a setup for this three. Doesn't fall. Who's got it? Both teams in penalty. Remember, free throws. Ito para sa College of St. Benil. Time down to only 26.8 seconds. So free throws for CSB. Allen Liwag. He's got 13 points, eight rebounds. Still on the lookout for his production here in the third period. Sila naman, di ko alam kung anong sila searching lang. I don't know, whatever. Getting some selfies again. Yes. And enjoying the action di sa ating Philoy Lego L7 ECJ Preseason Cup. Yun lang yun eh. Pagka narinig nila, tinatanong sila ng mga kaibigan lang. Were you at, girl? You're in San Juan, girl. And it's a Saturday, uh, no, Benji, yeah, so yeah. maybe party day for uh, those girls. Warming up for some parties <laughs> later on, maybe tonight. 62-60. Labagam CSB. Letran. He's going to take it. Jim Boy. Oh, Dipsy do, but got blocked. Good defensive stop right there by the Benil Blazers. 62-60 CSB. Letran throws a bad inbound pass. Abut pa ba? Nabitawan on the way up. But Tony's asking for a foul. I don't know, but I don't think that will be given. Kung pumito man yung referee, too late, masauna yung buzzer. That's how they're going to be deciding this, and I do believe that's the end of the third quarter, but it's a real close ball game that we're having here between these two teams. Upper hand is up for uh, CSB, but for how long? Um, Smart Power Up Place being brought to us by Smart Power All 99. Get 8 gigabytes of all access data, only TikTok, and only all net call and text for seven days. Load now. Fourth quarter anybody's ball game you gotta be able to see it all right here get eight gigabytes of all access power to do it all. plus only tiktok to scroll and share non-stop power work life and more with smart power all all access data now up to 90 days load now ABC, sigurado ka dito. Magaan haluin, kaya magaan idikit at masilyahin ang woodworks. Yan ang Bostik El General All-Purpose Epoxy. 
kasama mo sa lahat ng laban. Gawa ng Bostik. And from the looks of things here, as we prepare for the action happening in the fourth quarter, let's see. Nakarating na date mo, ate. Nahanap po ba? <laughs> Nagpa-park na yun. <laughs> Lahat yan may kwento, Randolph. Mm. <laughs> Anyways, we go right into the action here. Benilde. Only being able to hit one three-point shot I was, made. I, I was gonna say picking up where they left off with another aye, aye, three. Aye. Jomel with a turn, difficult shot, managing Jomel. to score for CSB. Jomel Achet has always had that shot in the bag. You turn around, fall away from CEU. That's always money from him and a gorgeous shot for him. Would be a big asset for for CSB if he if he continues to emerge oh, with this space. There's still room for improvement somehow for a talented guy like Joe Melancheta. Samantala, it's a second chance. I open for Lebron. Ooh, and a foul, a loose ball foul on Lebron has been called here. On the other side, then, eh? picking up where they left off with another foul. I know. Four point advantage for CSB. Remember, this is the final quarter and the final scheduled ball game that we have for you today. Jomel. Little hesitation. Alan Leog. Ahat scoops it up. Partially deflected. Jim Boy's third. The setup. Catch and shoot three. No. The Rando offensive rebound goes reverse. Jim Boy is doing everything Chaparin. for Letran made the offense, defense, even rebounding. We told See. you from the start of the second half, if they want to win, Jim Boy has to be the, be the, the bearer of good news. And true enough, he's doing that for the Knights. CSB unable to cash in on the drive. Two point game, two point lead. For CSB, Letran, that opportunity again to tie it all up or maybe take the lead. It's not exactly some sweet shooting that we have seen, <laughs> been seeing here for coming from these two teams. Persimobo, go! Oh. <laughs> Kowahao Pa delivering from the corner. It's one of the designated uh, shooters for uh, Letran. Actually, maraming ganyan para dito sa Knights eh. We've seen Jovel baliling earlier. Uh -huh. Wow is one. Actually, well, aside. And uh, and, sorry, uh, Estrada is a given. Yeah, the three-point shot na to. Jangan, hot pot, hot shot three. Hot pot ba, jangan na. Rare three-pointer in this game, but Letran will take it as they took the lead, but uh, Sanjo can take that back for CSB. Na jigs mo wala. But Letran has five three point shots made. Only one for mm. the CSB Blazers. And there, Sabi sa inyo, Dito, you just have to figure what kind of expression do they have. Are they happy with what they're seeing, or are they just wondering what's going on? Anyways, we return to the action here. Lepran is up by one. 65-64. Fighting tooth and nail, Laban Vito. Sa CSB Blazers. Ooh. Oh, may pakialama. Maaga pa si Alan Liwa making that happen. And for this basket. So, John Tukahuko contributing again. Para sa CSB. Good read by Alan Liwag. He knows that the ball will somehow still go to Jim Boy, and he anticipated that pass, and that led to a steal for Para St. Benil. Shot clock down to five for Letran. Who's going to take the shot? Ho oh ho! Now they're hitting those outside shots, but that's a, it has been counted as a three. 
They're going to be checking on that a little later on, but that's the sixth three-point shot made for LeBron here in this ball game. And second in this quarter, Benji, Jogo Borsello, showing that he also can be a factor on offense. Oh, ito naman ang pangalawa para sa panig na pinil. Lumuwag na ang butas para sa magkabilang teams to shoot those outside shots. Kanina pa namamaga yung ring eh. It's about time they hit those outside shots. Deo Quahao adding up that drive from the baseline. 70-69. Man, oh man, we got a seesaw battle happening here before we get to uh, the middle part na ating fourth quarter. Is this going to be a jump? Possession Aro nga lang is uh, favoring Letran. So that's a turnover para sa Benil. Look at how this turned out for the steal. Smart switch move. Switch to smart without changing your number to experience fast connectivity and nationwide coverage. Visit any smart store to learn more. Jim Boy Strada giving the rest. Now the rest of the guys have got to be active. They're on top by one. Can they add some more? Nope. Doesn't drop. <laughs> Out of control, yung rebound ni Tony Inot. Yeah. Nice defense. Ang problema doon, hinahablot na yung rebound na isang kamay. Eh. Mm -hmm. Kumakalawit. Kaya nga eh. 72-69, and now Letran is on top by three. Is there going to be an answer here, Alan Liwag, na papalundag? Because the ball decided to pop out. Uh, that floater. Halfway here in this fourth quarter. To consider, Jaboy Estrada is sitting down. Oh, and how about that shot? It's another three. Finally connecting Deo Kuahau again. Very timely for Letran when they needed it the most. You know what? In practice earlier, Jangnan hot pot, hot shot three, hot pot ba? Jangnan na. We go into a timeout. We'll be right back. Enjoy only 5G data, only calls and texts, and only Netflix mobile on us. All with smart postpaid, powerful SIM only plans starting at 999. Get it on eSIM online, only with smart postpaid. And how do you like that? As they say, you just have to keep on trying. Never give up. Sooner or later, it's all going to go down, and that's how it's turning out for Rito Saletran. Big, big help when their shots from the outside have finally made its mark. At ito nga, lamang sila rito. Ha. Although just by 6, 75, 69. Pero walong three-point shots na na-convert nila. And how many here in the fourth quarter? In my count, I think that's uh, three in the, in the fourth. But what a time for them yeah. to find that touch. Two coming from the Oahu, and that has allowed them to take the six point lead way past the midway point in the fourth quarter. CSP Blazers, Savan Allen Liwa having a tough time right there, throws it to the wrong guy. Who ends up with the basketball here? The struggle continues for possession. Letran, there's a foul. It's going to be called here on Jome Lancheta. Still trying to catch his breath right there. Bojorcelo. Again, you, re you have to remember some of the key players that natira dito sa Letran. Pao Javillionar, Kobe Monge, uh -huh. Joho, Borcelo. Despite the struggles that they've had, they were part of the 3 p team. So they know Tama. how to win. This may be a different system, but the pride should always be there as champions. All right, Megan. Ibalita ka sa 
Benji, CSB assistant coach Gabby Severino shared with me a while ago that with the team that they have assembled and the anticipation building up in terms of how they will fare in season, it boils down now to managing expectation. So they recognize the talent that they have in their team, pero ang coaching staff nila mismo ang uno magtuturo ng pwede pa nilang i-improve. And he shares that they are always very critical of errors and how to execute better. Kasi whether they win or they lose, there is always this challenge of either maintaining or steering back to winning. And yun nga, we are still in the early phases and this is just the start for CSB. So we can still expect a lot of fine tuning. Benji and Randolph. The, uh Restlessness then, siempre, no? Para dito sa mga who are responsible. You get a spot in the finals. You play there. It's been a long time for CSB to grab a championship. Nakarating ka na, hindi mo pa rin nakuha. And every year is getting to be a challenge as always. And it's all, it all starts here. Alam mo, Benji, they may say it otherwise, but I can say last year was a disappointment. Para sa oh, and they had the high hopes with, with uh, Will Gozum's final year. And then you bow out in the final four, not even make the finals. With the new personnel in, with Tony Enot, with Gab Cometa, with Alan Liwag, many people are expecting them to be in the mix for the championship. But again, being a good team on paper is a different thing. You have to perform on the court. Well, you can put them up in a One step backward, two steps forward. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but of course, the effort, para yung paghanda, all the preparations, kasama parin yan. You cannot just rest on your laurels. You haven't gone all the way to the top yet. But at 75, 69, and Aram Daman Ren, fatigue factor creeping in. They have been running and gunning at the Lone Teams. Oh. Yeah, landing spot as we see here. Yeah, Jomel and Cheta just colliding with the leg of Dale uh, Wahao. Yung and momentum rin niya, eh, no? Mm, a know. little out of control dun sa close out na yon. And that would mean free throws. Uh, Jomel yan, eh? Jomel, mm -hmm. hindi Ramel. <laughs> <laughs> Kakaiba daw kasi yung Jomel, eh. Uh, Oo, oh, eh. Samantala, siempre. This. Uy, di nga lang pumasok. Eh, nevertheless, nakuha yung una. Pero they will still retain possession. 76-69, Letran trying to pull away here. But of course, there's still plenty of time for a comeback for CSB. 3 minutes and 25 to play. Jim Boy Estrada is back on the floor. For Letran. Second survey put back. Pau Havillionar, Merapam. Flex. <laughs> Just outsmarting three defenders. No one boxing out Pau Havillionar on that offensive board. Letran is up by nine. And CSB taking a lot of time to execute the play here. Beat in for Alan Liwag. Dina na kalag over si uh, Ali Liwag after uh -huh. that uh, spate of fouls in the early goings in the third quarter. They've been trying to kickstart his offense, but somehow he he was out of his groove. Offensive foul called here. Taking a look at the signature move of the game. And brought to us by Smart Signature Plan Plus. Enjoy only 5G and more is starting at 9.99 a month. Apply now. Nagmamadalina ngayon ang opensa ng CSB. They need those. Oh. Unti unti nang nauubos yung oras natin, Benji. And they have to make their move if you're Benil, especially with how. The offense has gone for Letran. You can see the confidence going up for the Knights. 4.8 seconds. Bola pa rin ito ng Letran. As we are just about to approach the final two minutes of this ball game. Much needed timeout has been called here. Don't go away. We'll be right back.
Get 8 gigabytes of all access power. To do it all. Plus only TikTok to scroll and share non-stop. Power, work, life and more. With Smart Power All. All access data now up to 90 days. Load now. Yes, yes, it's not yet over and we're enjoying basically every moment that we are here to bring you uh, action. So I think live streaming coverage courtesy of Smart Sports. Ayan no. masaya na sila. Katranista siguro tong mga to. Maybe. Ito. Ah, medyo malungkot eh. CSB. <laughs> mga naghahanap na ng lakad. <laughs> With uh, two minutes remaining. But you know, all hope's not lost, Benji. This is still... Oh, naman, ah. May mahaba-haba pa itong two minutes na to. First, make a stop. Yeah. Long inbound. Let's see how this one... Oh! Well, they got to take a shot yeah. right now. I thought he'd announce that last two minutes. Last ditch effort to month. Paralitas to CSB. They're still playing catch up. They missed that shot. They got another chance here at close range. Still mm. doesn't drop. You know what's happening. Tough misses. Paray Gab Cometa. Those are good looks, actually, but just unable to convert. And now they have to make one more stop. Wala pa naman sila sa penalty, but Jim Boy Estrada is utilizing and going for time management. He missed the layup, though. CSB has got to come up with a basket here. If they can come up big, why not? They have to make the move. Ito yung atake. No! It didn't happen for them, but they will have ball possession. Shot clock at 11. Yeah. I think Letran will challenge that. Paolo Villanueva was arguing that the last, the possession, the ball was touched last by Alan Liwag. And uh, that's, that's going to be a crucial call. If you're Letran, if you win this challenge, that allows you to get the possession and further make the situation itong binil, a problematic one with 1 minute and 11 remaining. Actually, under the last two minutes, talaga naman yung mga officials will be taking a look mm -hmm. yung mga possession na ganyan eh, di ba? It's supposed to be automatic. After review, uh -huh. we'll see the Indian Lakers. Ah, si Monhe. Okay, so all our officials have decided it right. It's going to be possession para sa CSP. Sa angulo kasi nila, Coach Allen. Kamay ni Allen. 11 seconds. To make a basket here. Uh-oh. And even those two-point shots are not beginning to fall para sa CSB Blazers. Flip na rin eh, si Coach Alan Ricardo. Alam nyo, pang high school lang ako. <laughs> <laughs> Makakahinga na ng maluwag-luwag. Oh, but no not just Coach Allen, but for Letran getting their first win din sa ating Fail Oil Echo Oil 17th ECJ Preseason Cup. I know we repeatedly say this is a simulation, a chance for yes. everyone to prove themselves. Pero sino nga ayaw sa panalo, Benji? Oo oh, naman. Sabi ni uh, Jim Boy Estrada, Don't worry, Coach. Tutulungan oh, kita. All out ako ngayon. Mm -hmm. This is also a sad plight para rito sa CSB Blazers. Their outside shots have not clicked at all. And then yung letra naman, when they started to hit the target with those three-pointers, very timely. Mm -hmm. And how do you like that? Really, this is going to be a win for the Letra Knights under Coach Alan Ricardo. For CSB, what did they always say? 
a learning experience. Mm. <laughs> you win or you learn, but for today, Letran will come out victorious. That's right. And of course, we're still on the lookout for our Puso Pilipinas player of the game. But let's see the quarter quarter highlights. Smart Power Up Plays brought to you by Smart Power All 99. Get 8 gigabytes of all access data. Only TikTok and only all that call and text for seven days. Load now once again. When taken here by Colegio de San Juan de la Tran Knights at the expense of the College of St. Benil, the Blazers. And uh, of course, they can afford all the smiles that they want. They really mean it. Puso Pilipinas player of the game, Nathan Randolph. No one else but Jim Boy Estrada. 17.6 rebounds, doing it all, but most importantly, injecting energy on both ends of the floor. Started playmaking, but in the second half, he picked up what he's best, and that's putting the ball through the hoop. It's like saving the best for last for this guy, Siempre. Bahay niyo ito Jingo yun! Jingo This coming Monday, we go back to our five-game schedule. Starting off with San Beda taking on Emilio Aguinaldo College and Arellano laban sa San Sebastian. Pinil Blazers will be back to go up against Mapua and the National University will take on University of the East. And UST this time will go up against UP. Punong-puno na naman tayo this coming Monday, May 20 for more of Phil Oil Echo Oil 17 ECJ Preseason Cup. So, sa ngalan po ni Megan Cabrera and of course, Randolph Leong Song. Ito naman po si Benji Santiago. Thank you very much. What's remainder of the weekend? Enjoy it and do it moderately. Okay, <laughs> we'll see you at the ball games. Generation Z, authentic.